What's up y'all, it's the Doctor Investor back again with another video. So welcome back to my channel where we talk about entrepreneurship, real estate investing, personal growth, and finance. So today's topic is how to pass a Section 8 inspection on the first try. But before I get into the topic, y'all know what to do. Make sure you subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I'll be right back with the topic. So why is it so important that you pass the Section 8 inspection on your first try? It's important because it can take one to three weeks to even schedule the appointment. So because there's this time lag on even scheduling the appointment, you don't want to get in a situation where you fail the inspection and then you have to reschedule another inspection which will also take one to three weeks. You want to pass the inspection on your first try because you have Section 8 tenants that want to move into your property and the reason they applied is because they need somewhere else to stay and you not passing that inspection can delay their move-in date up to one month. Your rental property still has a mortgage that needs to be paid every month and that mortgage is usually subsidized or completely paid for by the rental income you're getting but you cannot start collecting rental income in the Section 8 program until you pass that housing inspection. So you failing that housing inspection will delay the start date of those payments by Section 8. So you wanna make sure you pass that bad boy on the first time. As long as you have no tenants occupying your property, it is costing you as a landlord money. Say if you do not pass the initial inspection, this will cue a reinspection. And during this reinspection, the inspector will look strictly at your failed items from your initial inspection. And if you pass that, then your tenant can move in. But if you fail that, then you'll have to do another reinspection. Now let's get into how to never fail a housing inspection. So each county across America has different inspection guidebooks, which they go by when they do the inspections. So as a landlord, the biggest thing you can do to avoid failing an inspection is printing out that guidebook and going through each and every line of it to make sure your property abides by those rules. In Chicago, the Section 8 guidebook is 137 pages. So I know this can be daunting. So what I do is during the renovation process is making sure I take into account each line of the guidebook when doing my renovations to make sure that I'm not missing any steps, making sure all my I's are dotted and all my T's are crossed. Of that 137 page Section 8 guidebook, here are the most commonly failed items. Typically they are light fixtures that are not working, electrical outlets that are not properly wired, windows that are broken, missing smoke detectors or smoke detectors that are not working properly, doors that are not functioning properly, deteriorated paint on surfaces, infestations of bugs or rodents, locks that do not work properly on doors or windows. There's many items that a landlord can fail on this guidebook. But to mitigate that is to make sure you're going through every line item of this checklist and make sure you will pass every line item. Once your tenant moves in and you pass the inspection, you'll have to do inspections on a regular basis. So if the tenant has any kids under the age of five, you'll have to do an inspection every year. If they do not have any children less than the age of five, then you'll be doing a housing inspection every two years, and this is standard. If they do not have any kids under the age of five, then you'll be doing inspections every two years. Another scenario where you may have to do a housing inspection is if your tenant files a complaint with Section 8 stating that your unit is not abiding by Section 8 inspection code and that may prompt a 
complaint inspection. In this case, Section 8 will come out and inspect your property to see if your property is compliant, even if you did pass an initial inspection. And now it's the day of the inspection. This is the game day of what you've been preparing for. So what I do, which I would highly recommend you do, is to have a handyman present when your inspector comes by. Have him come with paint, his toolkit, just in case there's a small minor fix that he can do to make sure you pass that inspection. Say if a window won't open, it's painted shut, he can just use his tools to get that window open. Say there's a little bit of cracked paint on a window pane or in a closet. He'll have his paintbrush and the paint that was used to just paint that right up. So inspectors can be very particular and fill you for little minute things. So I think it's very helpful if you have a handyman present that can fix up these small fixes which may cause you to fail. This will maximize your chances of passing that inspection on your first try. So that's a wrap on this video on how to pass the Section 8 inspection on your first try. You know what to do. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment, and turn on notifications so you're not missing when I drop a new video. And if you know anybody that will benefit from my content, make sure you share it with them. I'm almost at my goal of 500 subscribers for the month of July. Y'all know what to do. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to watch my videos. I'll be back with some more content soon. The Dr. Investor is out.